I'm telling you, Toby, this whole mind reading thing is starting to rub off on me. Call it osmosis. Osmosis? <laughs> yeah. What, you don't think it's possible? Oh, probably is. I don't know. Who am I to judge? You tell me. I'm in line at the Presto Jiffy whatever mart, and I'm looking at the cashier. It's like a 7 out of 10, borderline hot. And uh, all of a sudden I get this hit, you know, like you would. And I feel it. She's going to say this. 12 items or less. Had nothing to do with the shine over her head. It's got nothing it? to do with it. I, I, I knew what she was going to say 10 seconds before she said it. That's not reading my... I don't know, what you, what do you call it? Like, the ability to read the future. The future? Maybe I got that too. I mean, if you and I get together on this, we could really do some damage. We'll open a little business for yeah. us. Yeah, you know, superheroes, Inc. We got multiple vex to corner at Gormley and Lot. Alright. Wait, time's over. Step on it. Then silence, knock, no answer, let herself in, two down. All right, any alive? Let's see. Thanks. Hey, guys, got this? Oh, I got nothing, you? Hey? Nothing? How's Claire? As far as we can tell. It's too late, Charlie. the rest to me. Ah, 
was Toby, just the gentleman I wanted to see. And my sister Jennifer is coming to visit. Oh, you mean the sister you love when you're not dreaming about driving a stake through her heart? Yep, that one. I need you to run interference. What kind of interference? Like, if she asks me what I'm doing after work, I need to be able to say that I'm doing something with one of you. Or if Thank I you. randomly end up alone with her, one of you saves the day. Show up, call. Don't say you have plans. You never have plans. You just randomly disappear. So, are you in? I think I can handle that. Yeah, you should probably meet her before you... Don't spit. I do have one question, though. She's gorgeous. She's stunning. And I think I need to brush my teeth. Hey. Hey. How's our staff victim? Any improvements? Physically stable, but still shut down. Spent an hour with the staff psychologist and nothing. Yeah, well, I guess seeing your parents murdered right in front of you might do that. Yeah, no kidding. Any suspects? Well, the longer he's not talking, the harder it's going to be. Can I have a minute with you, please? Sure. Excuse us, please. You're asking a lot. Shelly, no, I'm not a telepathic vacuum cleaner. I'm not going to do that. I have two people dead, and the only witness I have is unable to speak. I need a way inside that kid's head. I don't think anything I could get from him would help anyway. The kid is messed up. So you already read him. It's not like I could help it. But what'd you get? <sighs> Everything I saw was pretty messed up. John, I can't trust what I pick up from people when they're in an emotional state like that. Well, usually in my world, that's when the truth comes out. What did you see, Toby? I, I got... I had a few hits. I saw a guy in a clown face, clown makeup. Is that the murder? I don't know. I saw two guys with black ski masks. I saw a knife stabbing someone. I don't know who was holding the knife. Well, that's what I'm gonna need for you to find out. You really want me to go in there? I really want to know who killed this kid's parents, yeah. All right. Hey, Andy. How you doing? I know you're scared. Police just need to know who's responsible for this. You know who did it, Andy? Just think about it. Just try to remember. Just fine, all right? You just gotta let us take care of you, okay? You okay? I don't know. I don't know. You saw both their faces? Yeah, kinda. Did you get an age? Uh, I'm thinking late teens. Well, the ski mask fit with the description we had gotten from an old lady they had attacked. What old lady? We had a series of break-ins, all in the same neighborhood, same MO. At first, no one got hurt, then a couple weeks ago, an old lady got pretty roughed up. We think it's connected to the break-ins? Maybe. You think it's anyone you could pick out from the mugshot? Yeah, I could try. Same school? Two kids, late teens, all from the same neighborhood. Houses they know. Not every punk has a record. All right. All right. There's one. Scott Knox, nickname Suds. Interests, me, chillin'. Wow. He's the other. Jordan Shanks, ambition to retire at 25. Favorite movie, Natural Born Killers. Hey, 
Andy. I'm Detective Charlie Marks. Mind if I come in? Can you take a look at these pictures and tell me if you recognize anyone? Knox's parents reported their car stolen, then withdrew the complaint after he called from a 50 cent concert. That was nice of them. Jordan Shanks racked up $40,000 from a credit card he found on the subway. His parents paid the bill, all charges were dropped. All right, you don't think that these kids could graduate the murder? That might be exactly what they did, but I can't go after them until I get something solid. Hold up. Marks. No, that's okay. Thanks. What? That was a lap. They say it's possible he could have cut himself. Look, I don't want to believe this kid killed his parents any more than you do, but... But I get it. In your world, I get it. Exactly. I get it. So, you just keep that dry for 24 hours, okay? Vivi. Jen! Oh, my God, is white ever not your color? But don't let that stop you on your wedding day. <laughs> Great to see you. You as well. <laughs> Who is that man and why is he smiling? Oz, this is Jen, Jen Oz. Hey. Hi. And of course you remember Toby. Hey, how you doing, Jen? Good, you're looking good. I'm sorry, I forget, are you too hot or cold or? We're, uh, we're lukewarm and pretty busy all together all the time, okay, huh? I'm dying to go for sushi and there's uh, this great place on Queen West that sounds killer. Come on, let's go, I've got so much to tell you. I can't, I have a hair appointment. I mean, you have a hair appointment. Okay, well, well uh, what about tomorrow? Tomorrow we have a dinner plans already, sorry. That's right. But you should come to the dinner. Yeah, yeah, it's at Toby's place. It's at uh, it's Okay. Park. That sounds good if... Hey, Toby, that kid you brought in yesterday, he wants to see you. Okay, cool, thanks, Pam. Hey, be right back. Okay. So, so what time is dinner? Seven, seven-ish. Okay. Anything you don't eat? Any uh, dietary restrictions? I don't actually do shellfish. Uh, we've got to plan the day for tomorrow, then. You're the paramedic who revived me, aren't you? Yeah. I just wanted to say thank you for saving my life. Oh, hey, it's no problem. If you need anything, you let me know. The detective asked me if I recognized any one of those photographs. Two of them were the ones who forced their way into my house and killed my parents. Do you remember which two? Not sure of their names. They were seniors when I started high school. All right, so if the detective brings in the photos again, will you be able to point them out? Let's do it. Shanks. Who? The kid who lives here. Oh, upstairs. Second door on the left. Police! You gotta be kidding me. Paid for it all myself? Yeah, mowing grass, right? What do we have here? <whistles> Pay for this too? Go oh, that's a gift. Yeah, from, from my girlfriend. To Wendy on her 20th anniversary. Might want to call your lawyer. Book him. Convict on what basis? Your witness said the intruders were wearing ski masks. So, how did he see them? Somebody's here. We gotta go. We gotta go. Claim with any certainty that it was my client that was at that house that night. 
Because the stolen items we found in his closet belonged to the victim. And if he wasn't there that night, how did he get them? Same way he gets all the stolen property, so people steal it. Your offense? Well, you asked how I paid for all that stuff in my room. Now you know. Okay, so who brought you the stuff from the Lasseter's house? I don't know names. The way he wanted it. And anyway, we met at a party. So could you pick him up from a mud bowl? Yo, hitting this place is gonna be easy. Yeah, right. Why don't you just tell me how you did it? Do you like being a cop? Yeah, I do. You like being a smartass? I don't think that's necessary, detective. I'm sorry, but was I being a smartass? You're not here for a conversation, so just answer the damn questions. Oh. Oh. I'm all over that. No, I bet you are. Mr. Shanks had a bag full of articles from the Lasseter's home. When we went to your home, we found nothing. Why is that, Mr. Knox? Because I didn't steal nothing. Or could it be that Shanks doesn't trust you? And if he doesn't trust you, do you really think he's going to protect you? Which one did you kill? What? Was it the mother? father maybe it was both of them what no, no no i don't know what you're talking about what the hell is she trying to do are you covering for your partner is that what you're trying to do no one killed no one you tell me what happened and i'll cut you a deal no one killed nobody well they're lying charlie they were in the house i saw them wrecking a room yeah there was a room that they wrecked did you get anything else <sighs> shanks was just thinking about sex wasn't he some guys are easier to read than you think no i got him wrecking a room and well yeah. But this is the thing, tearing up the room doesn't fit with their pattern. They're mm -hmm. usually just into jewelry and stuff. You think you can get me in the house tomorrow? Yeah, what are you gonna do? I feel like I'm missing something. Well, maybe there's someone else. That clown. That's staying with you, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs>
this room? Yeah. You might want to take a look out here. Right. So this is the only room that got trashed? Yeah, it doesn't fit their normal M.O. Yeah, this is crazy. Someone didn't like fishing. See you, I got good news. They arrested those two guys. Really? Yeah. Did they confess? And they confessed only to fencing the stolen goods. Well, that must be a lie. Is it? Yes. Do it. You can take whatever you want. It was a lie when you said you didn't know Shanks and Knox. I don't. I mean, I recognize their photos, so yeah, I must have seen them around school. But... Yeah, Shanks said he met you at a party. Wait, what are you... What are you saying, that I'm, I'm a liar? I'm saying you gave Shanks the keys to your house. Why would I do that? Because you wanted them in there. I wanted them there? It was your idea, it was your plan. What was my idea? Why would I let them into my house? You were in on this from the beginning, Andy. I don't know what you're talking about. How good can they? What about the clown? What's the clown, Andy? Do you recognize this? Where did you get that? That belongs to my father. Tell me about your father, Andy. Tell me. It's not yours. Why does this scare you? Who says it scares me? What do you do to you? You had no right to take that. You had no right to hurt you. Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Did your father beat you? Is that why you had them trash his den? His pain didn't last for years. What about your mother? Did she get what she deserved? Leave my mother out of this. Is it because she didn't protect you? What did you do with the knife, Andy? What knife? I don't know what you're talking about. What did you do with the knife? Seriously, if I hear her say you know what I mean one more time, I am going to throttle her with my bare hands. Full cranial x-ray, overnight observation. 
And after I kill her, because I will kill her, I will hold you two personally responsible because you promised to keep her off my back. Oh, Liv, not for a month. Oh, now, oh, it's three months. I am going to kill her. OK, tell her the truth. Tell her how you feel. I don't think she's that bad. Oh. She is. I find her delightful. Oh, oh, Charlie, you're going to go see Andy? Yeah. You mind if I come? No, no. Forensics came back. The knife belonged to Andy's dad. The prints on the knife belonged to Andy. Why? So what do the knocks and shakes have to do with this? Could be that Andy arranged for them to break in. They left the parents alive. He came back, hoping they'd take the rap. Yeah, but Andy has defense wounds. Our guys say it's possible that the wounds are self-inflicted. Really? Yeah. Andy, I need to be sure that you understand everything I am about to tell you. You need to listen to me very closely. You are under arrest for the murder of your parents. Ray, the right to redeem I need your help. Kids out on bail, and they dropped the charges down to possession of stolen goods. High-priced lawyers. Not surprised they got off. <sighs> Ray, I gotta crack this. So how can I help? Uh, I gotta figure out this clown. I gotta figure out the trashed room. I'm guessing from what you told me that the father would punish or abuse him or some combination of both, enough to create a psychological trauma. And then he felt so bad about hurting him that he would try to make nice and offer the candy. But Andy hated the hypocrisy. In fact, that's what most kids hate. All right, so you think maybe this clown represents hypocrisy? Maybe, but maybe it just represents the dad. What's the dad's room that was trashed? Interesting. That would make sense. Will you talk to him? I want to listen, Ray. I don't know. Maybe the truth is going to stay locked up inside Andy's mind forever. If it's locked up, that kid will go down for killing his parents. Do you know why you're in here, Andy? They think I did something bad. Can you remember what you did? Andy, can you try? Will you try, Andy? Will you try? Andy? Will you try, Andy? Andy, Andy. Who the hell do you think you're talking to, an idiot? You people want me to say that I killed my parents? Okay, I killed my parents. Stabbed them. You're a pretty tough guy. Tough enough to kick your ass. If you're so proud of killing your parents, then why did you hide the knife? I didn't. Then why did the police find it in the drain in your garage? I didn't put it there. Well, somebody did. Who put the knife in the drain, Andy? Hmm? Sorry? Who put the knife in the drain? Oh, I did, of course. I mean, I, I wouldn't have left it in the room. Andy? I beg your pardon? Tell me, when you look in that mirror, who do you see? Wow. I see me, of course. Did Andy kill his parents? Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Wait. What's the question? Tell me what happened then. Cases of dissociative identity disorder are rare, and none are ever the same. 
Some therapists don't even believe the condition is genuine. So you don't think he's faking any of these multiple personalities? Well, I don't know. No, no, he, he didn't see Andy in the mirror when he was another personality. If he was, in fact, abused by his father as a child, then he would have tried to protect himself. And that's why he'd break down into these three different altars. Andy the boy, tough guy Andy, mother Andy. So Andy killed his parents? Well, no. One of Andy's personalities killed his parents. OK, so little boy Andy gets hurt. Tough guy Andy gets payback, and Mother Andy hides the knife? Hmm. I don't think he did it. I don't, I, I don't see how he could be looking at himself from the hiding place with a bloody knife. I, I... So who was holding the knife? I don't know. It's not Andy. Couldn't be. But there is this new cool thing that Eckhart told me is getting behind. Silence! What? Ever try not filling up a room? I'm having a conversation. Yeah, no kidding, with yourself. You ever try listening? Uh, yes. But, I mean, the zen of listening is to hear yourself, if you know what I mean. You know, I do know what you mean. And for once, I've had it, OK? You dominate, you're controlling, and God forbid you be the center of attention. Well, yeah, that's that's what you do in an Obama world, Olivia. What, isn't it? You know, you I don't care that your renovations won't be done in 2020, OK? And I don't care that you're my sister. Do you want me to go? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You want to know something? No. If you lost your job, and your condo, and you were out on your ass, I would still take you in, and I would never say a word about what a little princess you are. You lost your condo. Look, I missed five payments, okay? Five. And they foreclosed because I lost my job. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't think I needed a sob story to be your sister. Look, fine, I will look for another job. I'll look for another place to live. Easy, done. But in the meantime, can we just, can we try to be sisters? Two weeks tops. So you stay at my place two weeks. I'll help you find a job. It'll be easier here anyway. You put up with me in the same city? Maybe. If you back off. I will. OK. OK. OK, so um, should I pick anything up for dinner tonight? Did that be a lamb chop? Chicken be good. Couscous and spinach would be. No, chicken is very good. Chicken. Andy. Hi. Shanks and Knox are gonna get away with what they did. I already told the police everything I know. I'm not gonna tell you nothing. Nothing. You can trust me, Andy. Shanks and Knox did it, didn't they? I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No way am I sorry. Sorry. Andy. What happened that night? What did they do? It was horrible what they did. wanted him dead. Why? Because I hated him. Why? Because of what he did to this body. <laughs> the candy. The horrible candy. Andy, Andy. Not the candy! <laughs> <sighs> I made them destroy that room. That was the deal. Because... Because that's where it happened. <laughs> Saw everything. I wanted to see that room destroyed over and over and over again. Did you record it, Andy? I had to. Where's the tape? 
What happened to the tape, Andy? Where is it? Well, I had to hide it. Where? Where it would be safe, where I always put things to be safe. What did you do? That's not right, it was me! No, Andy, look again. It wasn't you. But I wanted him dead. Shanks did it. No, 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 no! If I can keep doing this, I don't know how you've done it this long. Fight? Huge. Yeah. You told her what you uh, thought of her? I did. And she completely ignored you and carried on like she always does? Mm-hmm. She's picking out wallpaper. Her place or yours? Mine, of course. Oh, Liv, come on. I mean, you've told her, right? Those days are over. Not exactly. Oh, wait. You like the wallpaper. Yes. <laughs> you know, the place needed a makeover. It's gonna work out. I agree with that. Why does family always have to be so complicated? I wouldn't know. I'm just a little orphan. Yeah, but you do remember certain things, don't you? You've mentioned some moments. Okay, right? Because one of us is uh, more moon, knows who we are. happen that's at the top. Mm -hmm. 